everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am doing another DIY arts and craft type of tutorial. And to this one, I'm doing a winter luminary. So for this, you're going to need an old candle jar like this one, or you could use a mason jar. Um, just something with a nice lip on it like this works really well. Um, obviously, you gotta clean out the wax, take the stickers off, and just make it all nice and clean for a, a good work surface. And then you're going to need a hot glue gun, um, some twine to wrap around the lip of the jar here and to make your little bow. And it's also like decoration too, but you don't have to use the twine. You can use whatever you want, like a ribbon or, um, or lace or, um, burlap or you know whatever you want to do you don't have to do it like this this is just what i did and worked well for me and also greenery again you could use um something else like um some berries cranberries or some other kind of um greenery or you know just tie a bow if you want to you don't have to use this and then I, use, I also use some white glitter and some holographic glitter. Just I tried not to use too much of this, but it just added some dimension to the jar and the overall look of it. And then also you're going to need some Mod Podge. Mod Podge. This is going to what this is what you're going to put on outside of the jar to for your um, glitter and Epsom salts to stick to. Also and salts that's what's going to give you the wintry snowy look and i used a foam brush to brush the mod podge onto the jar and then the twine a photo or a tea light candle and then i also used a little tongue depressor thingy here to help me apply the the twine to the jar and, and hold it in place while it the glue sets and then also scissors <clears throat> oh and also i used i'm not going to go grab it but i used painter's tape and uh, a permanent marker and that's what i used to help um, create the the circle shape for the 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 jar with an open space where you'll be able to see through to the candle so um, I think that's, I've covered everything. So let's just get going on the tutorial. Okay, so first of all, my daughter is laying down uh, enough tape, painter's tape to, there we go, have the right angle, um, to draw on the circle. We're just using, she's just gonna trace the inside of the roll of painter's tape. And this will give us a big enough circle for the candle jar. I just had, you know, I used an old Yankee candle jar, <clears throat> excuse me, and this was the best size for to fit that jar. So anyway, so after she traced the circle, then she took the tape off the mat and just cut the circle out with scissors. This turned out really well and the tape came off the jar really nicely too. It wasn't too sticky or, you know, caused too many problems. So this is just the easiest way that we could, we figured out how to do this step. Okay then, so that now she's going to put the tape onto the cleaned um, candle jar, just like that. And now she's going to take some Mod Podge and generously coat the jar, um, trying not to go all the way up to the top of the, the lip of the jar there. She's just covering all sides. And it's, it's okay if you get the, the glue over the tape it, it still peeled off really easy. It was no problem. So she's just going to do that. And then after this, then we'll apply the glitter and the, the Epsom salts.
Okay, and then this is after the glue has set, and I did spray the jar with a sealant so that the Epsom salts and the glitter don't fall off the jar everywhere and make a mess. That's a step you don't have to do, but it really helps. So she just peeled the sticker off with tweezers. As you can see, it came off really clean. So now I'm taking the, my hot glue gun and I'm putting a nice bead over the entire outside of the, the lip there. I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly, but this is just to keep the twine in place and keep it from sliding off the jar. So I just did that and I put some glue every so often on the jar and then I used the tongue depressor so I didn't burn my fingers and so I could press down the twine so it laid flat. Okay, so now we have the greenery. So you don't need a big piece of whatever you're using. You just need a little decoration. You don't want to cover up the nice effect of the candle. So I just put a little dot of the hot glue where I want to attach the greenery and then I put a little, I just put a little bit more along the edges and the top again. And then I just press it down with the tongue depressor so that it stays. And then I put another little spot of glue on the front of it so that I can attach the twine and it'll stay. And then I just wrap the twine around the jar to, uh, to cover up the stem, if you will, and then just to make it have a cleaner look. And then I just tie a nice little bow on it and it just kind of completes the whole look here. And you can, you can pull it kind of tight so it can um, make sure that that piece of decoration doesn't come off. And there we go. Okay, we're almost done with this uh, little project here. Now we're going to be moving on to the inside of the jar. So just put in some Epsom salts in the bottom of the jar along with glitter. You don't have to use glitter, but that's what I wanted to do on mine. And this is just gonna have something for the little tea light to sit on and it'll look a little bit more wintry and it'll hold the candle light up a little bit higher or the tea light so you can see it better. You can do, you don't have to do that. You can just put your tea light in the bottom of it and call it good. Okay, now I have my tea light here and then I'll put it in the bottom as I drop it in there and light it for you. And you can just see how just beautiful and perfect this is for winter time. I love the way this turned out. I'm so glad I did this. It's so pretty. So here's the jars done. And then if you want to do a gift option, you just get a little baggie, a snack baggie and fill it full of glitter. And I used Epsom salts. And then you just stick it in the bottom of your jar with a couple tea lights. And there you go. It's a really great little gift and you can use these all winter long. It's not just for Christmas. This is a very wintry type of decor you could use. So here we go. Here, this is a perfect little gift for Christmas. If this is what you're, you're, you know, interested in doing, but if not, it's a great little decoration for your house. So please subscribe. Thank you for watching my video. I love doing little craft projects like this. Would you like to see more from me? Um, these videos seem to do pretty well. So let me know if there's something that, you know, would be interesting for me to try on my channel. So Merry Christmas and I will see you in the next video.